Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of the Age of Decadence. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it's just to join me today, because apparently it's time to check on our good friend, Basil. Basileus, I think it's his name. Uh, let's go in there, and um, save the game there. What the hell? Was the, the, the door was already open. Hey man, how's it going? They want to talk to you, says Basil, looking nervous. They're losing men and money. I think they want to make a deal. Oh, the Thieves Guild they want? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, if they want to talk, I am all ears. Where do they want to meet? Here in, is the address. I asked around. Nobody saw any armed men or anything of that sort. Still, be careful. Yeah, do you really think they want to talk? From what I've heard, Levir is all about business. If it's easier to make a deal than kill you, you'll make a deal. Don't forget me ab about me, though. We're in it together, right? Right. Don't worry, guy. Don't worry. I might be a terrible backstabber. But, I don't know, sometimes I'm just crazy. Sometimes I just find some principles in my brain purse, I guess. Uh, so where are we right now? I think we are in the Arena District, and we got a house here that we haven't been to before. There apparently hasn't been any armed men in here, but of course they could go in there and just get to that house, or they can go through the back, I don't know. There's no door in there, but I could find a way into that house. Wouldn't be too much of a problem. I mean, just a few bricks loose and just everything should be okay. But everything should be okay for me as well. Let's see what happens. Oh. Hmm. It's not gonna be just a dialogue. You enter the house and stop, waiting for your eyes to get used to the darkness. The house is small and empty of any furniture or men waiting for to talk to you, for that matter. While you wait, the door is locked behind you. Hear the sound of hammers nailing the door shut. Lovely. Something moves up ahead and you instantly recognize the faint scratching sound of a centipede legs. Scolopendra hisses and raises itself, getting ready to strike. So what are we waiting for? Kill it! It's gonna be the second one we kill. And I think the, uh... Yeah, we should be okay. I I'm saying this because I we should be totally fine. Although, last time we killed one, we had poison in our, in our weapon. I could get another one in there. Actually, I'm gonna get another one. Another poison. So I'm not gonna do... Can I... Nope. I don't want to drop. Nope. I uh, guess... Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll wait for it to come to me. Should be totally fine. Let's see what happens. It's a nasty, nasty bug. There we go. There we go. So I'm just gonna... Let's see. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let's go with Apple. So I'm gonna want to have uh, two action points. So that's nine. I'm gonna be able to attack. Yeah, it's not very... The, it's like five damage reduction. Two damage... Oh, that's good. That's amazing. So that should be totally okay. I'm gonna kill this thing with ease. We're not gonna get a single attack off. Um, unless, of course. Unless. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Unless that happened. What just happened now. Which is, uh, I failed my passive. Let's see what happens now. I got an 11. Let's go with that. And then let's go with a couple of regulars. It's already badly wounded. And I'm de basically destroying its armor. That was a dodge there, not really what I was expecting, so I switched to Horus, move back, it doesn't have attack me, that's nice, another damage reduction uh, off right there, DR damage. Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect, that was really nice. Uh, so now I need to go with a couple of regular attacks, mm -hmm. no, single one, and that is that. And some poison, thank you very much, that's nice poison, it's not the best poison that can be. But it's a very good poison, nonetheless. It's, low, it's five damage, so it's better than the three or two damage that I can get. So I can leave the house. Do I want to leave the house? I thought I... Hmm. I thought they barred the door, but apparently I can just smash through this thing. Because Tertius smashes. Hmm. <laughs> or Tertius smash. Tertius smash. That doesn't have the same ring to it. That, that, no, it doesn't. So that's that. Why can't I kill the Thieves' Guild all in one sweep? Why? Yeah, they hate me, even though I, I help them, but they hate me. Hmm. That was good, though. Eh, I mean, easy peasy. I could go to the arena. I think I should be able to um, get a few more battles off right there. Let me save the game, just in case Basileus decides that, I'm, that I should die. I thought you were dead, says Basil, looking at the man next to him. He should have been dead, says the man, smiling amicably. We paid good money for that Scolopendra. These things aren't easy to catch. Well, is that a reason why I shouldn't kill you right now? Can I click that? My boss wants to talk. Don't worry, no more surprises this time. You've already cost us too much. And why should I believe you right now? I'm not inviting you to a tea party. The situation is getting out of hand and we're going to discuss it. I'm giving you a chance to participate in this discussion and have your say. 
before the decision is made. Uh, if you're afraid, don't go. I'm sure you'll know what the decision is soon enough. If not, I can take you there right now. Okay, let's go. And I will kill you all if need be. I'm kind of wondering, why do they go th through so much trouble? Basil must ha make a fat chunk of money with that thing. Because otherwise they wouldn't be spending all this money if they couldn't get it out, out of Basil. I mean, it's in a good position right there. It's kind of in a corner right next to the arena. And and the whorehouse, I think I think it's the only whorehouse in, in town, but anyway. You're standing in front of one of the enforcers of the 40 thieves. He's flanked by two guards on either side. You caused us a lot of trouble, says the enforcer in a tone of apparent force to disip, disip, discipline a child unwilling to take responsibility for his actions. A lot of trouble, repeats the enforcer as if wanting to ensure that the gravity of the situation gets through to your, th through your thick skull. Well, get to the point, old man. I don't know if he's old. If it was up to me, I would have you killed, no matter the cost. Nothing personal, of course, but letting you live is bad for business. Sends the wrong message to people who think they have what it takes, even if they don't. They'll be lining up to hit us and see if they can get away with it. It'll, it'll be chaos. Lucky for you, Lever thinks you can be an asset to our organization. And should any complications arise, well, who better to clean them than the one who caused them? Yeah, I I was gonna say that. Yeah, if they want to kill me so badly, either they all gonna die, or I could work for them and get some money and kill some other. I'm just I'm mostly needed for the kills, to be honest. I'm a mercenary. <laughs> I, I have no honor. So yeah, but still, apparently Tertius is not sure he understands. Look at it this way: we have a problem. That's you. We can make the problem go away, or we can turn it into a solution. So let's work something out then. Excellent. First things first, you owe us collection money. Let's say 1,000 Imperials to forgive and forget. Sure, I guess. I mean, sure. I can respect your business. I mean, I've killed a few. Uh -huh, yeah, it's okay. Excellent, repeats the enforcer. Second, you work for us now. Unofficially, of course. You will be responsible for collections in this district. Our cut is 5,000 a month. The rest is yours. Are we clear? Hmm, clear. Welcome to the guild, smiles the enforcer. What? I'm now part of the guild, unofficially, of course. I'm probably not going to be able to go to that area of the game again. I hope I am. I hope the game takes that into account, but... I, although, it, it, if it doesn't... Uh, I don't know what's going to happen to Basil, though. <laughs> this is a nice turn of events. As I was saying, I am a mercenary, so I just work for whoever I feel like. You're still alive! Does it mean, says Basil... Yeah, I'm working for the guild now. Keep paying on time and we'll get along just fine. I, I, I don't understand, says ba Basil, looking confused. What's not to understand? Some thugs are one thing, the guild is another. They've offered me a deal, I took it. So the first payment is due now, 1,000 ahead, so fork it over. Basil looks at Quintus for support, finds, uh, finds none and reluctantly gives you the money. Quintus follows suit without complaints. I'll be in touch. Okay, so I just need to collect money now? That's so badass! <laughs> Any news? Says Basil. Nothing at the moment. Apparently I'm still his enforcer, which is cool. I just gained 2,000 Imperials for the service. I can get a... Well, I could just... I could still... I don't know. I don't know what the game is gonna do to uh, let me do. Let's see if this guy says anything. I don't even know if he's gonna say anything. No. Okay. Yeah. Just talk... Hey, I'm the new enforcer of the Thieves Guild. Badass. Badass turn of events. Let's see if this innkeeper says anything. Apparently, I can't collect money from this guy, which is kind of a letdown. Am, who am I gonna need to collect from, though? Let's see if I can get in here. See if then there's nobody else around here that wants to talk. Um, yeah, I'm still waiting for people who want to ambush me and try to kill me. Can I? Is it the merchants? Is it like 300 here, 400 here? Uh, so no, apparently not. Huh? It's kind of. Interesting. Hmm. He said five hundred five thousand a month. So how the exactly does that work again? I don't I don't really know. Quintus Pleasure Palace of Pleasure. Let's go up there and see if I can talk to the guy. Might ha I might have to look around and see if uh have an itch that needs scratching? Nope, that's not itches are probably a thing that people will get out of here with. So not gonna don't want any any anything of the sort, so yeah. Uh so I guess that is either that, and we're never gonna need to give that money back, or I don't know exactly, but let's see. Let's see if I can go to the thieves' place. I can go to the slums, but 
Wait a minute. I can... Oh, the gate to the abyss. Okay, I can go to the slums. Let's see if these guys try to jump me or anything. Because I am itching from some, for some fighting. Let's do that. I mean, I've just been in some fighting, but it's fine. I can always kill more people. And add to my tally. Uh, so, yeah. Let's go around this place. See if we can... Uh... Oh, there's mushrooms there. Can I harvest the mushrooms? Did I see them before? I can't. Okay. I don't think I can harvest anything without... With just one skill point in alchemy. So, yeah. Let's go to... Yeah, I'm probably not going to be able to go there. To go to the... Uh, over there, but... It's kind of a shame, to be honest. Nerus is drinking a hole. That's Nerus. I don't remember him. Never talked to him, though, I don't think. Hey, man. Can I collect money from you or something? Nothing. Okay. Hmm. I'm probably not going to be able to go here. It's kind of a shame. Oh, I can! Nice, 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 nice. That's really good. Why is it not on a map, though? Hmm, it's kind of a, uh, it's kind of not good. <laughs> Got Clemens here. Let me save the game. Just have a chat with the guy. So, yeah, nothing here. I kind of wanted to get some poison. I know somebody here sells it. I'm pretty sure somebody here sells it. Uh, let's see. Or oh, maybe I've, I've bought it already. So I got liquid fire, and I will take that, all of it. Thank you very much. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Can make I could make more if I had the skills, but unfortunately I think it requires five alchemy. Uh, I got a trader here. Oh, well, apparently he doesn't trade in anything. I uh, got another trader here, and oh, he's got the axe. I remember that. Oh, actually, can I? No. Okay. Can't buy anything from him. It's all good. There's nobody up there. I just want to buy poison. Give me poison, even though I have two scolopendra poisons. Can I go in there? I wanted to have a chat, a private chat with Levier, although he's probably not going to be coming out of that chat with with, with all of his uh, blood inside him. Uh, so let's browse his wares. So he doesn't sell poison. Damn it. Look at, I, how many nets do I have? Do I need nets at all? I have three nets. That's enough. That's more than enough, I think. I don't think there's... Yeah. I don't think there's any trader selling poison, though. It's bad. It's bad. Let's see if I can get in there, since now I'm working for the guild. By the way, did, it, did anything... Uh, no, nothing was added here. So, apparently I want nothing. Bye, guys. That was a waste of time. So, let's go to the arena. Let's fight some people and uh, see what happens. Oh, there's nothing new for me. Oh. Well, let's go to the palace then, because we have to talk to Paulus, I think. And see what he has to say. I also need to go to Thoragoth, oh, not Thoragoth, to the Temple of Thoragoth. Uh, although, I'm going to try and see if I can collect something. I'm gonna, just going to use the teleportation here. Or the fast travel, or whatever you want to call that. See if I um, can extort money from any of these guys. Probably not. Just want to try it out. No, not. Okay, that's good. Let's go to Ballast District, district and uh, yeah, get on with this thing. It's the first time, I think it's the first time we're going to get into the palace, the palace itself. I'm not really sure how we're going to get that. But because before I think we needed a thing from a guy that was in here and now he's not in here. I'm not really sure what will happen. But since now I'm a, now I'm a Legatus for real, I'm a double Legatus. <laughs> because I wasn't a Legatus before, right? I think I was a Legatus before. So let's go. So go on in. You're in the list. Yeah, there we go. Let's go inside the palace. Look at it. It's a big palace. Hey, Paulus, why are you here? Are these Imperial Guards or are they... That's Galus. Hmm. Let's have a chat with Paulus and see what he has to say. Legatus, says Paulus, giving him a quick nod. Ganazar is secured. What are my orders? We're preparing a new campaign, but it will take months. In the meantime, we'll continue securing all ruins. I was told that Meru was looking for an ancient temple of great value for his followers. I want you to find it. Oh, he will. Salute and leave. And there we go. We got another incentive to get to that temple. Apollos has asked you to find a temple of Thoragoth. And we're going to get a few qua a few choices at the end. And that's going to be amazing. Uh, but it's, I'm really I'm really hyped for the ending of the game. Where, are these new? Are these new? I don't remember them being here. It looks nice, though. Yeah, I like what you've done with a place, Galus. Speak, citizen! I don't speak. Not at your behest, anyway. Can I go upstairs? No. Uh, so, yeah, let's get out of here. Let's go and find that temple. Actually, before we find that temple, there's a few things that I want to do. Well, 
killing is gonna be most most of it. Let's go to the arch or the arc. Is it arc or arch? I, it's an historical pronunciation of the word, so I have no idea how that would be uh, we would be said. I think it should be arc, but arc is with a K, so it should be arch. But arch is weird. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, kill Asmanus. Basically, that's what we're gonna do right now. If you want to get that old, to that old arch very badly, says Esbenus, when you return, a thousand now and a half of what you find there. I won't take less, so don't even bother. So, yeah, clearly Esbenus has outlived his usefulness. Let's kill him. Okay, so we are now in battle with these guys, and uh, it should be an easy battle here, from what I know. So we got three archers so far, we got another melee, another melee, they're gonna take a long while to reach here though. So I might be about to do short work of this guy. Let's see what I can do here, if I aim for the head a couple of times. Uh, actually I wanted to see what I can do with, the, with fast attacks, so the armor, yeah, that's not good. So let's go with aim for the head, that's the perfect one right there, go with the regular attack here. Uh, the armor absorbs 10 points of damage, so that wasn't perfect. If I knew that, I, uh, yeah. Uh, his armor is very good. So he should be okay, though. These guys are not gonna hurt us. Unless they hit us. Yeah, but I am probably gonna bo block that. I remind you, I have 10 block. Unless I'm mistaken. I think I have. Pretty sure I do. Might be wrong on that one. And that's a problem right there. But it's okay. It's a problem that I'm fine to have. I'm okay to have it. Uh, so, yes, I have 10 blocks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna attack this guy in the head a couple of times. Do that. That was a block, but I still deal dealt damage. So I'm gonna switch to Anubis. Now I'm actually gonna switch to Aarhus. Not Apis, dammit. To Aarhus. So I get a better chance to knock him back. Oh, didn't work. So I'm gonna stay here. Bleed a little bit. Should be okay. This guy, of course, with the blades, it's... Oh, man, that was a... What the hell? Those are big-ass arrows. Do you see those? <laughs> so huge. The fletching, anyway, is huge. So, as long as he doesn't hit me, it's probably good. It's probably very, very good. But, yeah, the thing about this fight here is that we're just going to be able to kite them. No, that's not what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to do. Now I'm going to switch to Anubis and heal back in a couple of turns because I'm going to run away. Mm-hmm. Okay. They're not gonna hit very well from the distance. I, I think it de decreases their... Oh, they can shoot me from there? That's not good. Can I go into the ruins? That'd be a good thing if I could. Can you guys please stop that? That uh, that would be a good thing if you would. I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna... Mm. Okay, there's a guy coming this way. I think I'm gonna stay here. Yeah, I think I got... I, I'll have another turn right now. Hmm, apparently not. They just got a couple of turns in a row. Don't exactly know why, but it's all good. Hmm. Okay, so now I switch to Horus, and I'm gonna wait for these guys. They also can make me bleed with, it, with those attacks, so I need to be careful. Well, not too careful, and should be okay. I just wanna be a full. I just wanna be at full health right now, so I'm gonna move there. And I'm gonna attack this guy. Shouldn't have too good of an armor here, so I'm gonna do a couple of uh, regular attacks. The defense rating is probably gonna be like five, yes, five. Mm hmm. And five and six damage, that's good. So I'm gonna stay here. He's gonna close the gap. He's got a shield, so it's gonna be fine to hit him. Even if he blocks it, we should be okay. Shield's not that good at uh, reducing damage. My shield, on the other hand, yeah, it's also not that good. It's got defense rating of six, I believe. Um, so let's switch to Apis again. This guy's got a spear. That's gonna be a little bit of an issue. I would think, maybe. Uh, so a couple, uh, three, three regular attacks should do some work here. There we go. Switch to Horus again. Same old, same old strategy. We got. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah. The if the oh. Hmm. Yeah. If these guys surround me, they are not gonna be able to attack me too well. Man, I'm still blocking even with the uh, even with the net. So let's do this. Yeah, 98% chance to hit, even with a net, and I'm gonna do basically the same amount of damage, so that did absolutely zero for me. My defense rating is reduced by 20, I'm still at 143, so, yeah. So these guys are all gonna die, huh? 
Hmm, their leader died first. So it's only fitting that they all die. I'm not gonna attack this guy, I'm gonna force that guy to... Oh, wait, there's the rangers. Hmm, oh, wait a minute, there's... Worshippers. Oh, these guys didn't die? Oh. I thought... Yeah, I thought th this guy is so cool. The Oracle is so cool, I like that character a lot. Yeah, I thought they had died. We found them with Klepto, but I, th I really thought these guys had killed them. So maybe I missed them or something? I don't really know. Uh, so who should I attack next? So this guy's got a spear, right? Yeah, he's got a hast. I think he can attack me diagonally. It's not going to be much of an issue. This guy's got a... Sh um, uh, Gagox, I think is the name of that, of that uh, axe. Zero. Oh, that was a critical. I passed the armor. And now he's dead. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was good. Switch back to Horus. We're going to have a chat with the Oracle. That's cool. It's really cool. So yeah, I think one of these must have been an archer. Maybe this guy. Yeah. There were three, though. I don't remember king killing any archers. Maybe one of them. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. This guy is going down. I'm not going to attack that guy. The guy with the spear is fine. The only problem of the spear... The spear actually doesn't do that much damage as a weapon in the game. The, the the real strength of the spear is the fact that you can keep enemies at bay, and I use that to my advantage, um, you know, as as often as I can. And you've seen that, of course. Um, but uh, yeah, when they're, when they're very close, that that's it's not much. I mean, it's a range, uh, it's a reach weapon, so that's also a thing. But at this point, there's no real there's no real fear that it will just you know knock me out or anything. It can do that if it crits, but it's not it's not probably not gonna happen. So let's just do that. Hope that that guy doesn't reach me, because he's got a uh, axe, another cag ox, I think, or hand ox, or whatever. I'm pressing all the wrong keys on my keyboard, I apologize. Mm-hmm. Okay, that guy can still attack me. It's nasty. It's nasty, I want him gone. I want that guy gone. He's not gonna, he's not gonna be happy to see, well, he's not happy right now, probably, seeing all his friends die. I suppose they're friends. They might not be. Maybe, yeah. Maybe they stole his money playing darts. Uh, darts? Dice. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I say they're friends. They should be friends, though, right? They're the mer same mercenary company. Should be friends. Otherwise, I mean, how's life? It's just gonna be terrible. Yeah, he's, he's very upset with me. Saying he's gonna fuck me up. And that's... I mean, that's understandable. I don't resent him. I think... Yeah, he's, he's run out of arrows. He hasn't hit me a single time with his arrows. Yeah, that's why he's saying he's gonna fuck me up. Mm -hmm. And they haven't hit me a single time except for Asmanus, so... <laughs> really, really good battle. Really good battle. So this guy's gonna die now? Yes. Yes, that's what I was expecting. Not in two hits, but in three. Unless I crit it, of course. But there we go. Okay, so this guy... This guy's got a problem because he can bypass my armor with the dagger. Of course, he probably won't be able to hit me at all. So, that's because I am just expertly blocking the damage. And his armor is uh, now reduced to 4 damage reduction. I don't want the newbies, I want Horus. I pressed Apis, come on. Even if I dragged, yeah, if I, if I do this, I, I just pressed Horus right now. I'm holding my mouse, and yeah, if I drop it, drag it down, it still selects Horus. Shouldn't be like that. Shouldn't be like that. It's one of the little... UI things that could be improved. That's basically the only UI thing that could be improved. It's this this game's UI is really, really good. I don't know why I did that. Apparently, I didn't want him next to me for some reason. Eh, whatever. I, I know why I did that. I misclicked. I didn't, didn't see that uh, I had that selected. But it's all good. It's all good. This guy's gonna die. Yeah, but this game's UI is really good. I'm... I, there's, not, there's a lot of polish in the game. I mean, it took so long to develop. But a lot of polish in it, and it really shows. It really shows. It really does. So these guys are all dead. I gained a bunch of skill points, I think. And it's now the Oracle talking to me. I thank you for your intervention, Traveler. It's always pleasing to see what wickedness punished and virtue rewarded. What brought you here? Asks the Oracle, an ancient, wizened man with a deeply lined face. He looks at you first with his good eye, then with the empty socket that would be his left. It's a well-practiced movement that makes you feel as if the dead socket is looking into, the your, into your very soul. Well, I seek Alakaya. I was told that I might be able to find some clues to its whereabouts here. You stand upon holy ground. Many are the answers that may be found here, if the gods be willing. What is your name? Tertius. 
You have the air of a worldly man about you, Tertius. How strong is your faith? Asks the oracle, st studying you intently with his dead eye. So... I don't believe in gods. He looks uh, generally puzzled. The legends, they tell of how the first of the Magi sought out the gods in our time of need. They came forth and, yeah, did some things of which the details can be agreed upon for, from one telling to the next. I find the legends to be contradictory and distinctly lacking in provable facts. Look around you, there are no gods. He ponders you for a moment, then begins slowly. Yesterday, when I woke, I had no belief in Tertius. All day long, I had no belief in him, and... Had one of my acolytes come to me during the day and said to me, Master, what of Tertius? I could have said, Fool, look around you, there is no Tertius. Yet today, you stand before me. Well then, I remain unconvinced, but reserve the right to change my mind, should the gods stumble out of the waste someday and pay me a visit. Good enough for you? He leans forward, tapping his chest with one knobby finger and smiling. Faith can be can fill the gap between the doubt and the proof. Well, unfortunately, this gap needs more than fate. Let's uh, let us complete this charade so that I may hear what you know about Alakaya. Then let us see if the gods have years for us this day, Tertius. He waits patiently, then looks from you to a small empty offering box that sits on a rough stool to his left. A tiny bell hangs gleaming from a hooked piece of iron that's been driven into the top of the stool, and a short metal striking rod hangs from a string next to it. The acolytes watch in silence. Okay, so I seem to remember as Kato, I offered him, offered him a hundred Imperials. So I'm gonna do that again, let's do that. The bell's high-pitched note rings out long and clear against the vast silence around you. The perfect sound steadily diminishes until only a pregnant tension hangs in the air. After several seconds of intense silence, the oracle begins to chant slowly and s softly and slowly. The words, if that is what they are, sound as gibberish to you. He begins to rock in time with the cadence of his chant, gradually increasing speed. At one point, you are certain you hear your name amongst the twisted syllables, but it is quickly carried away by the rapid flow of the chant. The oracle's one eye rolls back until nothing but the white is visible, and he begins to shake violently. The chanting and tremors re reach a sudden apex, then stop. Suddenly and completely as the old man flicks a handful of fine dust into the air from a pouch at his side. His eyes, f his eye fleets to forward and studies the cloud of silt uh, as it lazily settles to the ground. The muffled gasps and exhalation of the acolytes ripple around you. Without focusing on you, he calmly speaks. The gods attend us. Put forth your query. I seek Alakaya. A moment passes as relief slowly spreads across the old man's face. The gods are aware of your quest, and they have blessed its course. You are on the proper path, and no enemy may prosper that would stand between you and Alakaya. You will reach your destination. But where do I go from here? Have no fear. The gods desire for you to reach Alakaya, and they shall lead your way. Three signs they will send. Watch closely, and with eyes of faith. For one time only will each sign be revealed. Well, this wasn't very helpful, was it? Not a very faithful beginning to a faith-based search. Take, ser take care that you not miss the first sign. I must rest now. The oracle begins the offering into a s uh, collects the offering into a small pouch and moves to take the seat within the cool shade of the arch. Yeah. The oracle begins collecting your offerings into a large pouch at his side. He pauses and sighs. The gods' way, they are mysterious, he says almost apologetically. It can be frustrating even for one such as me. Tell me, why do you see Kalakaya? to uncover its mysteries. Then take hope that the gods have blessed your journey. They seem to have an interest in your prying into those mysteries. Do you have time for a few more questions? The wolf man wa waves away the lingering acolytes to disperse their mundane chores and then motions to you to follow him to the shade of the arch. So what do you know of this place? It's a holy place chosen by the gods in the early days for communicating with those who were most worthy. In those days, the gods spoke more freely and frequently. Maybe we were more worthy then. Who can know? Can you imagine living at that time, Tertius? Conversing directly with the deities? Being judged worthy enough to bathe in that divine light that would herald the gods' coming? I, it was here, he opens his arms broadly as if to embrace his surroundings. It was all here. Our ancestors... Entrusted us with keeping vigil and watching for their next coming. 
Our stories and prophecies have been passed down from one oracle to the next. One early prophecy speaks of uh, one early prophecy speaks of the day in which the gods will return, and that three signs will foretell their arrival. Divine light shining once up, once again upon. He pats the stones upon uh, which well, he leans. Each arch will be the first sign. So what are the other signs? The first sign alone has was revealed to the early keepers. They were tasked with sending swift messengers to the Magi, but the Magi are long gone. We alone sh shall be the first to greet the gods upon their return. Yeah, he's got he's got a lot to sell uh, to say. A very interesting dialogue line, but I've read that before, so I'll just go through this one, uh, and so you guys can read it if you are so interested. So there we go. It's a very cool. It's a very. I I like him. I like him. I really do. So, he doesn't live in fear of the wastes, because, yeah, that's pragmatically speaking, that's not really the problem. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, I think we're about out of time, we got a lot of uh, a lot of statues here, but we also have the arch, and we need to explore that. But for now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been the Age of Decadence, I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.